course, remember, we need if we want to really start on time, we have to start 20 seconds early. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Stream is healthy. Warning, please check the video resolution. There's not much I can do about that. Okay, that's fine. It's all good. We're good. We're, we're about as good as we can get. I hate this delay. Okay, so here's here. Uh, hey, Terry. Hey, Terry, are you out there? I hey, guess Terry, you are. are you You're out there? You're probably 20 seconds behind us, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, how do I turn the volume down on... How do I turn the volume down on... on the YouTube? on YouTube without turning my volume down globally on my computer. Maybe I can't. I don't think I can. I don't think you can. So I'm just going to close. I'm going to close it. I guess. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Jody? I am ready. I don't know if I am or not, but I guess we're going to go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> are we going now? I think we're going. Yeah, we're, we you are. Mean, we're live. We're live on the air. The concert has started? It has started. Uh, oh, that's you can look great. at the camera now, Jody. That's good. I like that. I'm going to, I'm going to not Hold look on. at Terry the says, son of a gun, I don't see it. Says, son of a gun, I don't see it. Huh? Recording? Are we recording? Oh, we are recording. Trust uh, me, we see. are recording. Now, how do I keep my phone from dinging? That's the real problem. Turn the volume down, no, buddy. No, it's down all the way. <laughs> it can't be down all the way or it wouldn't be it's dinging. It's down all the way and it dings anyway. Yeah? David Barnard, where are you? Oh, it might be me dinging. Audio button for YouTube. Uh, it might be me dinging. No, it's me. Is it you? Okay. How do I turn that off? Forget it. I'm just going to turn my phone off. Well, hurry up because people are out there watching us. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> no. What? So listen, everybody, here we go. We're going to start now, right? This is the performance. This no, is it. No more diddling around. Um, but now let's just make sure Terry can... Is, is everything good on Terry's end? Uh, I think everything is good on Terry's end. Terry? All right. Are y'all good? Uh, Terry, you good? You good. She's good. Okay. If Terry's good and we're good, I think we should play something. What do you think? What are we playing today, Jody? Okay. Terry's good. Oh, okay. We're going to start off. Okay. Sorry. Now we're really starting. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... We're going to start off with a few old time <laughs> tunes because right, that's, that. that's what Cindy, when Cindy and I met, that's what we were playing, a lot of old time tunes. And we're going to just launch into that with a set of old time tunes. We're going to start off with that amazing uh, tune from the Leak County Revelers. Is that what it's called? The Leak County Revelers? I don't know. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think, I think that's what it is. And... Um, Non recorded at first in 1928, but we're going to play the Canote Brothers version of Bend to the East, Bend to the West. You going to kick it? Sure. All right, go for it. <laughs>
you know, Terry yes. is, uh, is helping us out over in the land of uh, YouTube. And you all should know that um, we're 20 seconds in front <laughs> of that mix. <laughs> so, but Terry just texted me, which we can do in real time. She says, the sound is great and everyone's happy. Well, everyone's <laughs> happy. That's a good thing. We must be doing it right, don't you think? <laughs> so good. Oh well, my gosh. Let's um let's not spend all our time talking and let's move right on to the next tune. What do you say, Cindy? I think we should play one of my favorite tunes now. That one was one of your favorites. You taught that one to me. So I think we should play Texas. What do you oh, think? Oh yeah. Henry Reed. Henry We're gonna play Reed. Newcastle. Yeah. Mm. You know, he used to travel through the Appalachians and uh he Henry would stop Reed? off, yeah, and he would stop off, like, you know, at every little, you know, holler. And, and you know, out in the mountains there, it, in the old days, it was really hard to get more than a few miles because you had to go, like, you know, over these big ridges, up down into these down, big valleys. Up and down. Exactly. So it was kind of tough to do that. So Henry Reed, you know, used to travel around, and he would, you know, show up at your local, you know, uh, general store, whatever. And when he showed up, all the old guys, Dwight was telling me this, all the old guys, you know, would be like, hey, Henry's here, Henry's here, Henry's here. So they'd all, like, you know, head down to the general store with their fiddles and their banjos and whatever. And uh, you'd put a nickel in his cup and he'd teach you a tune. Right? <laughs> That's how it was. So, you know, so all those tunes that we call Henry Reed tunes, like, he would do this. He would go around and that's how he, you know, like, managed to keep himself in biscuits and whatever. Well, if you put a, if you put a nickel in my cup, yeah. At my uh, my tip jar, our tip jar. Our tip. Oh. We can't then uh, we'll anything. play you a tune too. <laughs> well, so. we will, and the, uh, we'll play it even if you don't put anything in the in the tip jar. But oh, what well, I was going to say about Henry Reed is like you know these tunes like we don't all learn them the same way, and that's because after Henry Reed would leave a place and go on to the next place, the guys would just get together and they'd play these tunes, but they didn't necessarily remember it exactly the way they learned it. So they all develop their own little versions. That's why there's a zillion different versions, and we have kind of one that we play as a jam version. They didn't have a little handheld recorder? They didn't have little recorders back in the they had to remember it, huh? 1900s. They had to remember them, even, even, you know, up through the, probably up through the 50s, 60s. I don't know how long, you know, probably after the 60s they had more recorders. But, but by that time, all the, you know, all the people from New York were coming out to the mountains to find the real music. Anyway, that's another story. Okay. So Terry, Terry, um, put this in the, if you haven't already, in the chat. Uh, paypal.me slash Jody Kruskal. Uh, all one word, capitalized, Jody Kruskal. I guess, actually, I don't think it makes a difference whether you capitalize or not. And um, give us a nickel, and we'll play you too. <laughs> I love all right, that. we're going to play Texas. Are you going to start us off with that yes. introduction that sounds so beautiful? Yes, Cindy? yes, yes. <laughs>
That? Completely forgot about the resync. Button. I heard some weird stuff happening, so I figured I'd mention it. All very right. good. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Very well, now, very nice. I was at a Zoom concert. Um, Delora and Steve, Steve Hickman, you know, Diddler, Steve Hickman. You know that I know Steve Hickman. Sure. Yeah, and his and his wife. Um, I don't know if they're still doing it, but they were doing like like a concert every day at five. Wow. And that's iTunes. a lot. And a lot of kids' songs, you know. That, that's oh, what yeah. They love. That, well, that's kind of fun. That's I guess I could do that. Family every day. camp kind of thing, you know. Um, camp songs. So, but they're wonderful, and they're dear old friends. And they sang the song that I'm going to sing for you now. And I'd never heard it before. But it's a great song, and I, I've learned since then, I've learned it. It's called Down in the Little Green Valley. And it's by uh, Carson J. Robinson of 1928. And I'm going to keep talking while I get the. B flat F concertina here because it's uh, that's where I sing it in B F. B flat and F. Got to so love I'm gonna it. sing it in F. And anyway, Carson was a uh, early country music star. I mean, he did the Grand Ole Opry and he he accompanied many people on their recordings. And he was a composer, a lyricist, and um, he he did this one with Vernon Dalhart in 1928. He recorded it, but also Marty Robbins had a big hit. Uh, on his uh, 1959 Gunfighter Ballads and Trail Songs, which is, <laughs> you, you can That's watch it on great. YouTube. It's the best album. I love it. it. He's got such a voice and such a character, Marty Robbins. But anyway, um, uh, uh, Carson Robin was also, uh, Robinson was also a champion whistler. Oh, how about that? And he did whistle, lip whistle, on many people's recordings. Lip whistling, huh? Yeah, lip whistling is a thing, you know? It's a thing. I guess it would be. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to turn this off. How's that? How, this should be better. I like the whistling. That was, that was good already. Candlelight down in the little green valley Where morning glory vines are twining round my door Oh, how I wish I were there again Down in the little green valley That's where my homesick heart will trouble me no more There's only one thing ever gives me consolation and that's the thought that I'll be going back someday. And every night down upon my knees, I pray the Lord to please take me back to that little old green valley far away. I hear a mockingbird down in the little green valley. He's singing out his heart to welcome me. And someone waits by the garden gate down in the little green valley. When I get back again, how happy they will be. And by a little babbling brook, one 
once more will wander, and in a shady nook will dream the hours away. And I will leave all my cares behind, go where I know I'll find sunshine, back to that little old green valley far away. All my cares behind, go where I know I'll find sunshine. Back to that little old green valley far away. There you go. Down in the little green valley. I guess I should unmute myself now. I was coughing, so <laughs> I turned on the mute. I'm glad I remembered to turn it back on before we Me found too. out that we uh, needed to do that. So uh, aren't we going to do Sarah Armstrong and D? Uh, we are going to do Sarah Armstrong and D. So you know who Sarah Armstrong was, right? Yeah. Well, I've heard. I've never met her. No, I never met her either, but um, some of my Pittsburgh friends here um, were... Uh, uh, went out and collected tunes that she had. Um, uh, she's a Pennsylvania fiddler, and they collected her tunes and learned them and eventually put together a CD. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a uh, she's kind of a Pennsylvania thing. So this tune, actually, she called this tune the old reel. The old reel. The old reel. But like, how many tunes are out there that are like the old reel, right? So. It wasn't didn't make much sense to call it that, so they so called it Sarah it called? Armstrong. So they called it Sarah Armstrong. They called it after her name, right? Oh, because she was the one. For lack of a better she was name. The one who played it. That's where they got it. How about I give you some beats there and you lead it off? Huh? No, no. How's it go? I can't even yeah. remember. Bum, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> got it. So see, this is real. This is totally real. Here we go. <laughs> I love that. Ready? Yeah.
Sarah Armstrong. Thank you, Sarah. Jody, did you remember to turn back on your pickup? Yes. Okay, just check it. Why, am I too quiet? It was a little quieter than I expected. Seems plenty loud to me. All right, it might, might be on my end. Maybe I'll... Terry can suggest a, a, a better mix no, for no, us. No, 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 I'll just turn, out, turn it up on well, my end. Well, I'd love to. Fine. She said it sounded great, but that was 20 minutes ago. Okay, well, <laughs> then I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to turn it up on my end, and it'll yeah, be fine. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Very good. Oh, let's see. I think uh, I think it's my turn to sing a song, is it not? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm all for that. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Except I want to resync. <laughs> Good idea. I just heard something funny. Hear something funny? Some huh? flub. All right, there we go. Flubby Jesus. dubby artifact. All right. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. What have we got here? Yeah, what are you going to sing for us? I, I, oh, um, oh, oh, now I'm hearing crackles. Are you hearing crackles? You know, while you're doing singing your song, I'm going to go away and come back in. Um, I think you could probably do that. That would be fine. Just make sure you set yourself as a performer. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Didn't you do that? Oh, oh. Well, actually, I guess when you come back in, it'll be fine. Probably. You want to you want to risk that? Yes, I'm going to risk it right, because I'm, I'm hearing crackles. Yes, you sing a song. I'm going to take care of business here. All right. So Jody's going to go away for a minute, but he'll be back. And in the meantime, I am going to sing a song. Um, so Jody talked me into singing something a cappella, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and the song I'm going to sing is called Gather the Family. It's um, one of my all-time favorite songs. I learned it many years ago from um, the people who wrote it, um, Michael Huff and David, was it Tomulovich or Tamulovich? I never remember, but it's one or the other. Anyway, they uh, have performed for many, many years as Mustard's Retreat. They're out of um, the Michigan area, and um, they are totally great. So they wrote this song, um, and here's how it goes. Gather the family, here we belong, and welcome, good nay, stranger, come in. I'm going to take that down just a little bit. Hey, do you see both of us? Because I only see me. I do. You're fine. But how come I don't see you? I don't know. Don't worry about it. I'm seeing you. You are, and Terry will tell us if you're not out there. Wait, would you let me sing my song? I'm not stopping you. Uh, you're, you're talking. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Gather the family, here we belong, and welcome good strangers come in. Our voices together are singing one song, and it's here that the future begins. Our ancestors came from far, far away, from a thousand traditions and kin. What we all share together is we stand here today with a chance to start over again. Gather the family, here we belong, and welcome good strangers come in. Our voices together are singing one song, and it's here that the future begins. Our measure of worth's not in power or gold, the greatest truth comes from the heart. It's how we take care of the weak and the old. This is a place we can start. Gather the family, here we belong, and welcome good strangers come in. Our voices together are singing one song, and it's here that the future begins. And so like a forest, our roots hold the past. Our branches reach up to the sky. Let our gift to our children be families that last, a future to which we can fly. Gather the family, here we belong, and welcome good strangers come in. Our voices together are singing one song. And it's here that the future begins. Sweet. I love that song. And it's such a good song for these days, right? Yeah. You know, where we're all kind of staying home and gathering our families together. And I think, you know, <laughs> I know there are bad, bad situations too, but I think for many of us, it's just really, really kind of great. 
So there you have it. Especially for us introverts. You know? We get to be introverted by mandate. Oh, get to be introverted by mandate. Wait, Jody, are you an introvert? At heart. Oh, how about that? I overcome it. You, well, well, you know, for somebody who makes a living as a performer, you better overcome it, buddy. No, it's like a switch, you know. You go into performer mode. <laughs> that's true. I think and that's then, really true. And then, you know, then I'm an extrovert. <laughs> I don't know if he's out there, but um, Ivan Stiles uh, just always amazed me when I first met him. Like, you know, when you're sitting and talking to him, he's just a normal guy. And then he gets up there on the stage, and it's like somebody turned on his light bulbs. Right. And he just glows when he gets up on stage and performs. It's just so delightful. It's one of the reasons I love to watch him perform. So, all right. So what do we got? We got uh, we got another old time tune here. We do. We're gonna play West Fork Gals. West Fork Gals. Da -da -dee -dum -ba -da -dee -dum -ba Seems like there ought to be words to this one, don't you think? No, I just sang them. That's it. As far as I know. <laughs> yeah, well. You can I always change. Like real words. We you can always change words. the location and make it Park Slope Gals. Park Slope Gals. Brooklyn Gals. Pittsburgh Gals. <laughs>
Nice. <laughs> ah, it's always so much fun to play. So much fun. Woohoo. Hey, I have a little announcement to make. Um, you do? Yeah, some people have decided to help us f jar. So I want a little shout out here to Stephen, uh, Stephen Polonsky. Yeah, Stephen Polonsky sent us um, uh, 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 a very generous contribution and for also from David Barnard. So thank you, David. Oh, David. And thank you, Hi, Stephen. David. Yeah, David's in. <laughs> David, <laughs> David, if you've been to every single one of my concerts on, uh, on the internet. It's so cool. Thank you, David. I do kind of like that, that we have people who come back just to hear us again. Which we is... have fans. I know, we have fans. <laughs> How good is that? Maybe they're your fans, Jody. I don't know if they're mine, like Auto Harp. It's kind of a, kind of a thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, now, Colleen is here. Uh, I, I, I see now. Every once in a while, Terry sends me a little message, because I'm not actually looking at the YouTube thing, so I'm not to be distracted. Yeah, we've got a little backstream going here. You can oh, probably resync, resync. Resync, resync, yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That's right, resync. Where, where are you, resync? Hey, Jody, you want to talk a little bit about how this thing works? <laughs> Colleen, this? Colleen's here. She wants to play the concertina, but she also wants to play the auto. She'll decide to do one of the... Oh, well, I like that. That's kind of great. <laughs> uh, so did you want to talk a little bit about um, Jam Kazam and like how we actually make this thing work? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. And, I, and you probably have many thoughts, too. But I don't want to spend too much time on that. But oh, you should little. just know that this is the, the first half of our concert's over. And we've done our old time set. And now we're going to do other <laughs> stuff. Yeah, um, how fun yeah. will that be? So one of the cool things about Jam Kazam is... I mean, it's amazing that we're able to stream it and perform together, but it's really great for a rehearsal. And um, I've played with people from all over the world on Jam Kazam, and it works. It's amazing. It, it doesn't work perfectly. But, and there's a couple of things that you learn how to negotiate with Jam Kazam, uh, assuming that you've got all the equipment you need and you're all plugged in the right way, and you, right. you go through all the convolutions of configuration and it's not trivial but it's also it's not rocket science either let's look at even someone like cindy harris can figure it out somebody like me can definitely figure it out you are the whiz though cindy <laughs> cindy's been our tech whiz she's really helped me well jody got us started you know so once he got us started i got interested in the in the details and we were actually talking last night about how like we've decided that it's actually possible for the human body to perceive one millisecond of difference in, de in the delay. It's incredible. So you say. So I say, and so it is true. It is true. <laughs> so I'll tell you later how, it, how it's true. If you really want to know, send me an email, and so, I'll tell you the whole thing. So we're trying to shave off as many milliseconds of delay as we can. Right. And one way to do that is to have good equipment. And But it's not, like, super fancy, it's, but it does cost... Yeah. You know, you need a mic, you need a stand, you need a audio interface to get into your computer with a USB. But that's like $100 or $200 worth of equipment. It's not a whole lot. And um, it, it, it does prevent some people who I'd love to play with from partaking. Like, David, come on, man. You've got the, you've got the money. Just buy the stuff. Plug it in. But anyway, he... Uh, I don't know his... if they're out there, but a couple of my friends from Albuquerque have, uh, you know, recently gotten online on this, and uh, they're making it work. It's kind of good. Yeah, so, yeah, it is. Yeah, I had a really great earlier. session with an auto harp player from Florida and a fiddle player from Seattle the other night, and it was just like they were in the same room as me. That's incredible, right? Until Jam Kazam says, oh, we have to fix that. And then, and then it, it sort of gets confusing for half a second, and then we're all lined up again. So I, I guess that's the price you pay, um, uh, slight moments of confusion, and then you're, you're good to go. And, and then they, you know, a minute and a half later, it does that again. So that, it, like I said, it's not perfect, but it's really great. So I encourage all of you who want to play with me, uh, you can and with, with Cindy, and with random people who you can find, I, I, I just go there and join a blues session and play the blues. Well, and apparently there's some people out there playing old time as well. I just saw that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We, so they're out there. That Florida Seattle session, that was old time. That was old time, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think we're the only cool. ones playing English country dance tunes. Oh, and then we're about to do that, right? 1726 or something like that. Oh, you right? want to play the old wife behind the fire, Can do you? Can play that? That's one of my favorite tunes. It's become one of my favorite tunes. It's just so freaky and modal. It's really fun. How's it go? Yeah, but... <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I just needed a couple of notes. Okay, you going to start us off? Charming. It is so. And it's so much fun to dance to. Oh, I bet it is. What was that? I, I saw something in the in the chat about dance. I'm not sure what was going on there. Lynn says it's her favorite dance. Lynn Feynman is out there. Yeah. I follow. Hi, Lynn Feynman. <laughs> resync. Oh, resync. Right. Good idea. Resync. Well, this resync thing. It's really important. We were actually. Back. It's right in the list. It says resync. Yes. Yes. It's in there. It's in there. All right. We're good. We're good. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We got a couple more. Are you going to sing I want to sing a song. Yeah. <coughs> I do. <clears throat> I want to sing a song. I can't wait. Well, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, I play the auto harp too. I and know. And I've got this really nice flat mark. Uh, you know, you're one of my best students, right? Ah, uh, yeah. He's <laughs> taught me everything I know. Not no, quite. no, no, that's not true. No, not, not quite. Not that's quite. not true, but you have given me so many great pointers. I have given pointers. you some good pointers, yeah. Let's see if I can adjust this a little so you can see a little. I'll chop off the top of my head so you can see a little more of the, the action board here. 
the finger board. Um, now, Cindy, yes. what did I do with my picks? Well, that I can't answer, Jody, because I hate to tell you this, I am not really there. But not you're really. my but you're my favorite teacher, Cindy. Yeah, I know, but I'm not really here. <sighs> this is a good trick, you know, to keep the keep the picks on your fingers. Yeah, you a know. Little, a little moisture. Yeah, Bonnie Phipps told me taught me to suck my thumb. Yeah, suck your thumb. I saw Brian <laughs> Bowers do this. Did you? Oh, breathe on his fingers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna sing a song uh, called The Farthest Field. <laughs> it's Sunday. It is Sunday. And this is Maybe kind of like a secular hymn. Um, oh. It's kind of a secular hymn. It's a a, 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 a a song to provoke thought and reflection, written by David Dodson from Rockport, Maine. And uh, I think the story that he tells, if you go to his website, he, is about um, hiking way up in New Hampshire somewhere and, and just being having a spiritual moment in this beautiful field high up in, in the mountains. Sounds lovely. And well, here we go. Play us the song. The Farthest Field. Hold on a second. I'm not turned up. Well, I don't know. That sounded pretty good. How about turn now? It up too high. How about now? Uh, it's probably a little hot. A little hot? Yeah. All right, I turned it down. Let's try that again. Just turn this mic off. Here we go. A lot of buttons to push over here. How's that sound? That sounds fine. Great. Here we go. Friend, 
I truly love to hear your voices lifted up in radiant soul through the years. We all have made our separate choices. We've ended here where we belong. Oh, walk with me and we will see the mystery revealed. When one day we went away up to the farthest hills, oh, walk with me and we will see the mystery. There we go. Thank you, David Dodson, for writing that amazing song. Definitely like that song. Hey, Jody, your gain has gotten too high. You oh, were, overall? You were, voice? Yeah you, yeah, you were clipping a fair amount. Oh, oh, let me turn it all down. Yeah, I don't know what was going Why on. Why would that change? I don't know. That's what I couldn't figure out either, but well, you were definitely clipping. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to turn the harp off completely because I'm not going to play it anymore today. Well, that's fine. At least until after the concert. Then I might play a song. Yeah, your voice actually sounds better now. Or maybe you got too close to the mic or something. Oh, I'm something. Not sure. Yeah. Everything looks good now. Okay. Yeah, it does look good. Everything hey, looks green. Hey, got to do a little shout out here because some people have been giving us money. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, that's nice. Uh, well, I think they have at least. But maybe it's the same people, Stephen and David. I thought I, I thought I got some more. But, okay, maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did. All right. So, anyway. Something happened to the gain. We'll resync and adjust. Resync, resync. Yeah, I think. Oh well. I think that's that's probably the right strategy. It always happens during my song, Cindy. I you know, I've noticed that. It must be about you. Right? It's all about me. It's all about you. And it's all about you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. I think right now it's it's like the two of us are in this together, buddy. I think it's so. All good. I think so. So you know that Cindy and I have been playing almost every night. Like Maybe well, we'll yeah, take a maybe, night off maybe, or two. But... Maybe four nights a week. Four yeah, nights a week, for, for like months yeah. now. Yeah. So you've become my main playing buddy, Cindy. Well, I know you've become my playing, playing buddy, too. I can't play with my band. Right. Like, I'm missing my band. I really am. Shout out to you all if you're out there. I don't know if you are or not, but I've been missing you. I've been missing you. And I've been missing you, too. Yeah. But, Jody, you're What's fun next? to play with. Uh, and, and you taught me this one, too. This is, uh, I think we're going to do Neely Cleary's, right? Oh, yeah. This is an Irish tune I got from, um, from Emily Troll. Yeah, this she, is this, uh, this nice Like 20 another, years ago or something. Yeah, it's another, another cool little modal tune. When she was a teenager at Pinewood's camp. <laughs> or maybe she was a young adult. I don't know. She was young. What does she play? What does Emily play? Well, accordion. Accordion. But she plays other things, too. I think she was playing fiddle. Anyway... She taught me this tune, and I always, and I remembered it, and I even recorded it and remembered it, too, And but I had no, she didn't know the name. And uh, later on, thanks to the good people on The Session, yeah. I said, what is this tune? And they told me. It's called <laughs> Neely Cleary's, and Neely Cleary was um, uh, a well-known uh, fiddler, I think, fiddler, and taught people a lot of tunes, and this one, I guess, had no name, so it was his tune, just like Sarah Armstrong, you know? That's just kind of how they go. Sarah Armstrong's Neely Cleary. Oh, this is a cute little, I guess it's, I don't know, what is it? Is it a polka, technically? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I it's guess a it polka. technically is a, an Irish polka. Well, let's just let me get, play a little concertina and see if the balance is right. <laughs> sounds good to me. Yeah, it sounds good in my ears, too. Hopefully it's good out there, too. All right, let's see. Now, how does this go? Uh, right. In D. Neely yes. clear is in D. Well, it's kind of amodal. Oh, but it's not really in D. It's amodal. It's, it's kind of a weird modal-y it's thing. It's amodal? It's not modal? Well, I, I, would, I would call it... Call it uh, yeah, that's, that's, 
There we go. It's that scale, yeah. Oh, where the, the, you're playing a different tempo than me. Let's try again. You okay, start sorry, us. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got distracted. My uh, my light decided to, you know, kind of go down. Hopefully I don't look too weird right now. Okay, hold on. Before we go, yes. resync. Oh, okay, hold on. Again. Let me resync here. And uh, does my back... Right. You back? Yes. Does my background look totally weird? I can't see you, Cindy. You can't see me? For some reason. Oh. That's All right. I see is I me. Forgot. Okay, never mind. I just checked. I look fine. Oh, I bet you, I you look do. Good. I look good. Do I look you good You look out good, there? Cindy. I look good out there. Especially when I can't see you. Then you look particularly good. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> you ready? Yes, go. Cindy. It is a four quarter. And now, would you sing us a song? I would. I would. Uh, Terry reminds us that we've got about five minutes. Did we want to go a little longer? Or are we going to go over? Maybe, a, maybe just a tad. Yeah. Because we'll we want to play a tune after the song. Yeah, we're going to play one more tune and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day. But so, uh, a song. But let me do. A uh, tune. Yeah, let me do this song. So this is uh, this is a song um, I learned many many years ago. Um, it's got words by um, from a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. You remember him? Yeah. Yeah, sure. you know, famous American poet. We all studied him. Anyway, um, he wrote this uh, poem called A Psalm of Life, which I think is just lovely. And this guy named Lotus Dickey, um, who was a Nashville singer-songwriter wannabe um, and a fiddler, uh, he, he wrote dozens and dozens of songs with a zillion words to them. This is one of them. Often he set somebody else's words. 
but he's got some incredible stuff that I learned from um, Bill and Becky Kimmons. But this one I learned from someone else. I think I learned it from Bob Lewis originally, and it's called um, A Psalm of Life. And uh, Longfellow's subtitle to this is What the Heart of the Young Man Said to the Psalmist. Isn't that lovely? So here we go. Nice, Cindy. Thank you. So I have. To, uh, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, to Colleen Johnson. Thank you very much for putting a generous donation in the tip jar, and also to Charles Kochi, 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 I think Kochi. I'm not quite sure. It's been a while since I've seen you, Charles, but uh, very good. Um, uh, 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 a wonderful musician who I played with on a couple of occasions. So anyway. Um, there we go. Jody, I think we should march on out. Loving the concert, says Joe. Any chance for Bear Dance or Harvest Home or Home of the Heartland? Oh, Harvest Home, but boy, but we haven't played that together. And we're, that's no, we're instead, of, we're going to play a song, a tune that's just as good as that. Thank you for your suggestion. Just but, as good. But um, we're going to play a tune called, uh, well, this is called uh, Roddy McCorley. <laughs> it's one of those martial marches. It's a martial march. And sometimes you just got to play a martial march to end a concert, right? Yeah, and it makes a great contra dance tune. We've played it many times at those dances that no longer happen since everything mm -hmm. changed. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also a great time. tune. We're going to be talking about the before time. 
Yeah, the before time and the after before time. time. We used to play this for dances. Okay, Roddy McCorley, and then maybe uh, maybe we'll take one of those suggestions and in our next concert in a couple of weeks, maybe we haven't talked about that, but we'll probably do another one. Probably. We'll um, we'll play Harvest Home or something. We can definitely do Harvest Home. We could probably play it right now, but you know what? This is what we decided will be our last song, and it's time for our last song. Right, Cindy? Right, Jody. Okay, here we go. Dee dee dum dee dum, and a one, 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 two, three. three. <laughs> Time. The timing just before the, the I heard the glitch happen and then you and then it was the end and we skipped a few beats in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, those glitches! Oh, darn those glitches! But it was good anyway. Thank you, Jody. It was really nice. Thank you. So what? Uh, and thank you all for thank coming. Thank you all for coming. This and was so much fun. It's fun to have an. It's fun to play together. But it's even funner to have an audience, right? Even if you can't see them. Even if you can't see them. Although we can kind of sort of see you. I mean, you know, like I'm watching the chat go by a little bit, but um, mostly I have to pay attention to what's going on with Jody. So. Yeah, it's by all the good. by the way, uh, when you give us uh, that tip, um, which which we're always happy to accept. Um, yes, my name. You see that you, I, I get out. I'm outing myself. My my official name is Jonas. But I go by Jody go. because my brother Vincent, who's 13 years old, older than me, decided when I was born that I was going to be called Jody. And there's nothing my parents could do about it. Well, there you go. So, so there you go. That's it. Oh, I think I see some other folks have given us something. So thank you, folks. It's wonderful to 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 uh, to be able to uh, accept your. Uh, your, uh, uh, your 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 contributions here because it means a lot to us. It's t it's tangible love, yes. and um, 
Yeah, Siegfried, thank you very much. That's not Siegfried, that's Ziggy. Ziggy. Ziggy Harpdust, is that who you're talking about? Yeah, Ziggy in Germany. That's in, he's in Germany, he's one of my best auto harp buddies. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, you know, so, anyway, well, thank you, Ziggy. He's been to all of these concerts too, right? And Marjorie yeah. Roswell, yeah. Yep, yep, so. thank you very much. This is very oh. nice. I love it that, that you know, this is, uh, and oh, Martha Frischkorn. <laughs> oh, Martha, hi. That's wonderful. Oh, my, oh, my word. I these, have to say, it is so fun to see all people these from all people. over the world here. <laughs> yeah. All these I haven't people. seen any of my Australian friends today, though. So. Oh, I bet John is there. Is John out there? Eric okay. Charleston. Hey, my buddy Eric. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it. this is so good. I'm going to keep going down the line because, uh, well, I think maybe that's it, at least for now. So, anyway, I think, uh, is it time for us to sign off? I think it's time for us to sign off. Much as we'd like to just kind of stay here and hang with our friends all day and all night, I think we need to go and do other things like in real life. Oh, real I life? dinner. Is there life after, you know, after Jam Kazam? The thing is, like when you're not at a festival, when you're done with your performance, you have to go and cook dinner. <laughs> it's just not the same. But you know what? It's not, not all bad. I, I, I can't say that I dislike it. It's all good. I can do both. That's the cool thing is I can be home to cook dinner, and I can also, like, you know, be at the festival, if you will, and do the performance. Aussie so, John! <laughs> is he there? Apparently he all is. All right, John. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, we did have some of the Australians there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Aussie. This, uh, this, this will be uh, um, archived, I think is the word I'm looking for, on our brand spanking new Jody and Cindy channel. So subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to see all of that. And you'll also kind of get a little bit of advanced notice of anything that we do. If you're subscribed to our channel, you'll see it when we post a new one um, that we're going to be doing because there's always the upcoming things, right? right? So we'll post the upcoming and let you know when the next time is. In the meantime... Have yourselves a great couple of weeks. Uh, play some good music if you're a musician. Uh, eat good food. Uh, love your loved ones. And stay healthy. Stay home. Wear your masks. Yeah, if you wash have to your go hands. out. Yeah, wash your hands. All that. Don't sit in small rooms with. Don't with, sit in small rooms with, with other, other musicians. Yeah. <laughs> or anybody else. Or anybody matter. really. Yeah. yeah, don't go to a restaurant. Okay, just saying. It, especially if you're in the United States. You know, I realized this morning, Jody, that my passport is like totally useless right now. Totally. You're not going anywhere, Cindy. I'm not going anywhere. So I'll be here next time. All right. We'll see you All guys. All right. Take Bye, care. everybody. Bye.